Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Fishing with Calvin and welcome back to another fishing video. And today we got a good one for you. So that package back there, that's off an app called Timu. And Timu is a new big thing. It's trending on YouTube, it's trending on all these different platforms, social media platforms, but it's basically like in Asian Amazon, I guess. It's cheap, it's cheap stuff. Uh, you find stuff that would usually be like 50 bucks on Amazon and it's 20 bucks on Timu. So basically, I bought a bunch of fishing stuff off Timu, rods, reels, uh, lures, and we're gonna try them out. See, like, you guys will see, I'm gonna put up a screen recording on my screen, but I went all out on this stuff. I bought like $120 worth of fishing stuff. So we're just gonna try it out. Let's not waste any more time, I wanna get on some Top water fish, hopefully. Let's start opening this bag over here. Let's get it. All right, so we got a lot of what's in here, so hopefully, hopefully we got some good stuff. Oh, snap. Oh, that was not good. Thank goodness this thing's got a screen protector on it. I feel like this thing poking out is the rod, probably. I think that's a rod. So I think this is a rod we're gonna check here in a minute. So let's just open the bag up first. Yeah, I bought a bunch of random stuff too. So. There we go. First pack of baits by Lolo Kings. It's kind of like a rip-off Mendito bug, but hopefully it works just as good. I think this was like two bucks, three bucks on Timu where the Bendito bug from Guggen Squad is around like six bucks. That looks to be some pants. Don't need that for the video. More pants. Uh, here's our Ned hooks, which I'm excited about because if these if these end up working out good, we're gonna be buying off Timu all the time. They're weedless Ned heads. So here we got a cardboard box. Have to check out what that is here in a minute. Another cardboard box. Another bait by Lolo Kings. I do not think I ordered this one, but swim baits. Throw that on the net head, even. Yeah. Swim baits. Catch more fish. Professional lures. And this thing is oily. I'll take one out, but this thing is freaking oily. I don't even want to touch it. Looks like I think this was a pack of 30 swim baits. It's a lot of freaking swim baits. Two packs, got the same color, I guess. Okay. This right here, I'm super excited about. This is like a, I actually saw these on Facebook and these are freaking crazy. I think Yamamoto makes them, but they're like in between a Cinco and a Ned Rig. You just rig them weightless and they just hop around on the bottom like a, like a straight Ned Rig. These will be fun. Can't wait to throw those. This came in an envelope. Oh, here we go, some Ned heads. Damn, these are kind of tiny though. They're not weedless, but they're colored. Got some blue, some neon, some red, and some black heads by Go Tour Ned heads. Here we go, guys. This is. I'm gonna be excited to throw this one before that sun gets too high. Freaking rat lure. I've been won one of these. This could be nice. By Hunt House. Looks like a Japanese company or some kind of. Yeah, it looks like looks like it's Japanese. So. Oh, here's the real guys. It looks like the box got kind of beat up. Let's check this thing out real quick. Damn, this is a big spinning reel. That's what I was kind of worried about on Timu. The sizes aren't like, the sizes aren't like a, like at the store. Look at that, guys. It's pretty dang smooth. Like I said, it's a little big, but for this video, it should work. Hopefully I got a rod to go with it because 
I know I bought a rod. I just don't remember if I got two for, cause I got two reels. I got bait casting and the spinning. So hopefully, hopefully I bought two rods cause I didn't bring any others. So. Okay, here's, I'm also kind of excited about this one. This one's kind of like a, pretty sure it's top water. It's like a, supposed to be like a locust or something. Some kind of bug that like just skims on the top of the water. That should be, that should be money out here. Just look at it. I know I got another reel in here, so they better have given it to me. Worm hooks, nothing special, but it was like a 30 pack for like five bucks. And so I'm hoping these are good by Hengzhe. They look like quality hooks. Here's some Ned baits. Went ahead and grabbed some Ned baits because I got the Ned heads. They're almost exactly like a Z-Man, uh, those TRD crawls. Not for human consumption, guys. Do not eat these. Make fishing more fun. All right, we're getting close to the end, guys. Getting close. All right, this is for my car. I'm gonna show you guys that later. This thing about busted out already. Here we go. Whopper plopper. Don't think we're gonna be able to use it today because the sun's getting higher and there's like no wind on the water. There's no chop on the water. So we'll probably have to throw that rat lure. Okay, then we got the chatterbait. It's 14 grams. That's another thing that was kind of making me mad on the website was that it didn't really tell you what the weight was it didn't say like half ounce or whatever they went by they went by grams and so you could calculate it if you want to but it's a lot of work all right let's check out this bait casting reel and then we'll get it set up and get some fishing in i'm tired of talking I'm losing our top water time too that's kind of dope right there. This is by Live Pro, 7 to 1 gear ratio. That is not as smooth as, <laughs> that is not as smooth as I thought it was gonna be. Again, it was only like 20 bucks though. Probably less than 20 bucks actually, 14 bucks, something like that. It almost looks like a Corrado. In the picture, it looks like a Corrado. It looks like they stole the Corrado picture. Let's see if this thing was actually a rod and rig it up. I'm gonna watch this rod have like a broken eyelid or something. Oh my. Why are they wasting water spraying it all the way in the freaking parking lot? Gosh dang. Oh, it's telescopic. I forgot I got a telescopic rod. It's got a little, it's got a little protector for the eyelids, which is nice. Take that off. All right, you guys ready for this? Not bad. Is this a bait caster or a spinning rod? I really think you could probably put like a bait caster or a spinning rod on here. And it'll probably do just fine. Yeah. Feels decent for a for a spinning rod. This thing can hold a lot of line. And we're out. Okay, guess that's all the line it's gonna hold. All right, guys. I think we're gonna. Like I said, I really want to start with top water. I don't know how well that rat lure is gonna throw on this rod, but why not? We're gonna try it. We're gonna freaking try it. It's not too heavy. It's gonna look ridiculous, but we're gonna try it.
see what we can do. Some weeds on the side of the pond. I might just was gonna go down to the corner, but we're gonna see if there's anything lurking right over here. Damn, this rattler looks so good, guys. All right, guys, we made it to the end, and there's a little bit of shade over here, so this is where I want to throw the top water at. Damn, this thing looks so damn good. It looks like an actual rat. It's got such a distinct action. Like, there's no other topwater like it. I'm trying to be quiet over here because these fish get spooked easily. Oh, damn. I about broke my lure, freaking swinging into that tree. It was right where it should have been too. No freaking way, guys. No freaking way. That is not a good sign for the reel. pumped for just a second and now I'm tangled up alright guys freaking hurt I do not think that's what bit the first time but this dude was freaking determined to eat that rat I read him back honestly guys I feel like if Timu steps up their selection just a little bit they could be replacing Bass Pro because like I said this rat lure was only like five bucks when they're usually like ten oh my goodness guys these fish are going crazy all right these fish are fired up they want it try cast on the other side of this tree see what happens another perch guys that's a big one right there Look how big this sunfish is, guys. It's like a pumpkin seed. All right, we're gonna get the pliers. I'm not gonna mess around with this guy. That's actually insane, guys. This pumpkin seed wanted the rat. That's basically, that's more than half his size right there. Second fish, another sunfish. Let's get him back. Throw back over there, see if we get a bass supposed to be 107 today guys it's insane that's why I came out here early I usually never get out here this early when I'm pulling fishing anyway really surprised I haven't got a bass yet there's got to be a fish along these weeds here somewhere fish just rolled on it Might have to switch to something more finesse. It's getting hotter, a lot hotter. Oh, here we go, guys. We forgot about the creek. There's gotta be something in here. One by freaking rat. Probably half of what they eat is top water in here. A lot of spider webs and poison ivy, though. Gotta be quiet or else you spook them real quick. This 
fish gotta be starving. The ones that are trapped in here. I won't climb the tree. Oh, my little rat lures in the tree. Oh, forget it. We're going in there. Actually. Go for No clue where that lure went anymore. That was fun while it lasted. It sucks though. I went freaking all the way up in that tree. All right, I guess, I guess we're gonna have to try another bait. We we're gonna have to anyway, but I was hoping I could have kept that lure. Pretty sweet top water, especially if you're like in a creek or something, something where there's a lot of rats. But yeah, let's let's figure out what we're gonna throw next. All right, guys. Currently using a shopping cart film to set my camera up on right now but uh, I think we're gonna go with these I'm not sure what the, they're even called uh, doesn't even have a name on it made in China but I've seen these made by Jerry Yamamoto by Yamamoto baits and they seem they seem like they work pretty good it almost looks like a bait fish or a little Ned crawfish whatever so we're gonna rig this thing up I think what people usually do is they rig them on a weightless hook, so that's what we're gonna do. Okay, not the best. I needed a two aught hook, but this will work just fine, hopefully. Throw it in these weeds and hopefully, hopefully get a bite. All right, guys, flipping these weeds a little bit. I've been seeing some action. Yeah, we gotta sneak up on some fish over here for sure. Gotta make the perfect cast in those weeds and we'll be that'll be money. Damn, we're catching everything bass today. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. Looks like a minnow, I guess. Not a big one. Catching all the dinks today, but at least we're catching something. Skinny though. We needed that meal.
there's oh my goodness man started working it like a flute for a second or jerk bait bass got it dang it's running so quick i can't get a good hook set There's another one. There's a freaking another one. Might be the strat, guys, just to work it like a jerk bait. Soft plastic jerk bait. Man, I'm just having the worst freaking luck today. Just cannot hook them. They'll bite at the last second or when I'm not ready. Throw out a little bit deeper, see if we can get one more out in the open. You just let it drop to the bottom, give it a twitch, and they're on it. That was, that was crazy. And they always bite the last second though. Oh, I took off my tail. Gosh dang it. There's a bass. There's a decent one. It's not five inches. It's a decent one compared to what we've been catching. This dude's definitely been hooked before. He's got so many scars on his lip. Dang. All right, back you go, buddy. That was a cool catch. I think we figured them out now. We just gotta find a big one. This would honestly be like a good crappie bait. If you can find where the crappie are at. It's bite size. It's like a minnow. All right guys, I think we're gonna finish this video on another day, because it's getting kind of hot. And one other thing, I think I may have found my rat lure. It's in a higher branch. But now that I know where it's at, I think I should be able to get it. So hopefully, I'm gonna set this thing up. Hopefully I don't fall in. And hopefully I get my lure back. Let's freaking go, guys. That was a lot of work, but we got our lure back. Nice. Some blue gills. Preferably want some bass though. This pond is, oh, there's a skinny one right there. Let's see if I can sneak up on one over here. Oh, there's one right there, right up in the weeds. There we go. There's a fish. Let's go. First fish on the chatterbait. I've only been here for like five minutes. Let's go, guys. That's what I'm talking about. Look at this, guys. Second day, T-Move fishing challenge. Uh, ended up breaking up the bait caster and then threw on that chatter bait and this dude wanted it so let me get this dude back and then I'll talk to you guys a little bit more oh I just stepped in the water all 
All right, guys, so as you guys saw, I wanted to start the second day off with a fish because the first day, it was kind of slow and we didn't really catch many bass, which sucked. So today, I decided to go to one of my favorite little honey holes. It's kind of a little pond, but I think someone's about to come and kick us out. It's kind of a little pond, but uh, there's quite a few bass in it. So right now we got three baits knocked off the list. We got the chatterbait, the rat, uh, we got the plastic fluke, and we got like, I gotta say like four more baits left, excluding the top waters. I don't think we're gonna throw the top waters today. So yeah, we're just gonna see if we keep like switching out baits. I forgot to tell you guys, ended up, you guys saw it, but I ended up rigging up the bait caster, put it on the, the telescopic rod, and then I also brought my spinning rod. So let's see if we get some more. Let's get it. All right, guys, rigged on, rigged on a little swim bait. One of those ones by Lolo Kings. And I threw it on like a little, one of the Ned heads that came with the, one of the Ned heads that came with the Timu stuff. It should be a pretty cool little duo. It's not weedless, which sucks, because this pond is overgrown with weeds right now, but hopefully we get something on it. That looks freaking good right there, guys. That bait looks so good. Sorry if my voice sounds a little creaky. I've been just got back from, I just got back from being sick. Thought I was gonna die on Friday. So, we're better now though, a little bit. Just my voice, oh. This one. Oh, there's two bass right there. Oh, dang, they like spooked immediately as I threw my lure. Oh. Apparently they stayed there. There we go. Second fish of the day. Not as big as the other one, but we'll take them. Nice little half pounder maybe. All right, I'm gonna throw this thing for like one more cast because I saw another one like right next to him. Dang it, I forgot it. We got Ned Rigs to fish too. Ned Rig is gonna be a tough bait for this pond with how grassy it is. Dang. Okay, so let's see what else we can throw. Ooh. This flipping bait by Lolo Kings. Texas rig it, it'd be a good bait for flipping all these grass and weeds. I bet we can catch them, we can catch them on top water in here probably. Let's go ahead and rig up a Texas rig, one of these. All right guys, rigged it up. It actually looks pretty dang good. Rigged it with a tiny bullet wake. Uh, I don't know about this one. This bait does not look very good. Maybe I got undo the appendages a little bit. Maybe that's it. Yeah, that looks a lot better. When those legs are kicking, looks super good. Looks just like something like a water bug or something. With this tiny bullet weight, it just like sinks right to the top of the grass and then it stops. Looks good. This bait caster does not want to throw it though. I don't really throw around the bandito bug too much, but so it's kind of hard to tell to compare these two baits, but I feel like this one's definitely a little bit inferior. There's one right there. Just as I said that, we're downgrading. This one's about a quarter pound. We'll take him though. We'll always take him. Might as well keep flipping this bait around because I left all the other baits. 
across the pond. And plus, I think all we got left is the Ned Rigs. So we might go to a different pond for the Ned Rigs. This pond is just too grassy. It's not going to work out too good. Flip right there. Fish was hanging out right in the shade. Another one. That's a perch. We cannot get rid of these guys the other day. There's one. They're right in the shade over here, guys. It's like three fish all back to back. There we go. That's a good one. Send it back. There's another one. It's a good size one. Another healthy one. Damn, that's probably the biggest one we've caught in the video. Send it back. All right, we're gonna spend like five more minutes here and see what all we catch and then we'll go to a different pond. We'll catch one more fish right here and then we can go. Yep. Small one. Alright guys, spot number three, because spot number two was such a big bust. Probably the biggest bust of the channel yet. Uh, it was just not it, but here we're at a spot that I know would catch some fish. I've came here and got skunked before, but it usually, usually doesn't happen, so hopefully it doesn't happen today. Uh, we just got to catch a fish on the Ned Rig, that's pretty much it. And if we do that, we do that pretty quick, then we might as well fish for a little bit longer and I still got spider webs on me from the other pond that's annoying okay so yeah I'll see you guys once we get down to the pond let's get it okay let's see if they're hungry let's see if they're hungry I see a blue deal the pond's not as clear as it used to be yeah this is so much better for a net rig you want to see those rocks for sure. There's one. <sighs> Let go of it. Definitely probably won't be throwing these anymore. There are a couple baits that will throw after this video, but this is probably not one of them. It's getting hot out too. It's definitely not helping the fishing. All right, let's try the other side of this pond. Try and skip it right under this tree right here. Not bad. Fish on. Fish on. Not a big one, but we got him. Let's go. I got you, buddy. Fish on the net. Caught him on almost every bait now. Let's go, dude. Thank you for biting, buddy. I'll send you back. All right, let's see if we get a couple more. It didn't take too long. Oh, there's a good one. 
Oh, did you spin it? No, it's still on. They're biting the Ned by BNU Baits. Off he goes. All right, guys, I think we're gonna have to call today on that fish right there because this GoPro right here is getting too hot. And it seems like the fishing's slowing down a little bit. It's like the heat of the day right now. And so, yeah, Timu fishing lure challenge video, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I wouldn't say it was bad. I really liked some of the lures that I got and I'll probably use them again and some of the lures like this crawfish bait, this Ned crawfish bait, I probably won't ever use again. But so we found some new baits off Timu. Super cheap at that. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Cop some merch. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.